hi guys so i'm going to be leaving rose uh doing her work and then the boys are still sleeping so i'm going to go to the market i'm taking you guys with me this time i'll show you our local market and i already did my prayers so that is what i'm showing you i took my bath did my prayers and now let's go to the market so usually when i'm going to the market i love you know taking my own bags of course and then i cover my head because i just want to be you know comfortable in the market otherwise everybody would just be looking at me and it will not make me comfortable because of the sindhu that i have so this is how i cover my head and go so let's go together the weather has changed it seems it's going to rain or something i don't know let me rush before it rains the road around the market is under construction as you guys can see and these boys are the ones that help you know um to like you know keep our cars safe of course because this is a road and you never know who take out your glass or mirror or whatever <laughs> so we usually have them to stay there and you pay them a little bit of money so this is the entrance of the market and this side is a fruit side as you can see and then we are going to go inside and i'll be buying stuff the first thing that I buy when I get in the market is this. It is super tasty. It's an African snack and it is made out of maida. And uh, it is super, super tasty and the boys love it so much. I buy it first of all this for them and then I proceed with my other things. I'm just going to show you what I usually buy. Like I can't show you the whole market. It is a very huge market, but I can't show you the whole of it. But I will be showing you what I usually buy, right? So here I usually buy our yellow bananas from here. And it depends on what you want and the price that you you know you can manage right so while i was standing i was like let me show you guys around where that whole place is full of bananas i also came to buy for ourselves green peas and this lady i've been buying green peas from her for a very very long time because hers are usually fresh and nice the other ones you know sometimes you find when they have stayed like for um some few days but hers is usually fresh so i love buying from her because she also knows that and sometimes i also buy fresh beans from her So after telling him whatever I wanted, he packed them and then we had to, you know, calculate how much it is. But these guys usually have fresh um, vegetables on a Saturday. And by the way, this market usually gets fresh vegetables on Saturday, on a Saturday and a Monday. So that's why I usually come on a Saturday because obviously in the morning it's still super fresh. So I'm just going to go and buy, of course, some matoke. This is the green bananas that we usually need at home. I usually need at home. So I'll buy some of that, which is enough for only me and then i'll go ahead and buy some other stuff as you can see like the market has very different stuff not only vegetables and i also buy um some cookies from these guys sometimes if they have and they have you know very nice cookies because they're homemade and usually those ones we buy in the supermarket are usually either too much sugar or something like that but these are homemade and they're so tasty you guys so i usually buy from them whenever they have and then this whole area where they are they sell all those dry stuff like beans whatever 
and then i also came to buy some cabbage and i usually buy from this lady and by the way i have someone who's carrying for me that stuff i will be paying him some little money as well so when we come uh, when we're done with that i went ahead and bought some potatoes and i was just asking her are the potatoes getting okay or they're still on a high price and she's like things are getting better slowly by slowly and then i was like okay cool so after that i still went to another shop that sells indian vegetables as you can see and i'm going to be buying the rest of the vegetables from here because the other ones that i first bought from they usually don't have everything so they have some and then these people have some as well so i came here to buy the remaining ones and yeah i usually love you know buying from these two boys and this is called methi and my husband loves methi a lot so i'm just showing you guys because i know my husband my, my father-in-law is going to watch this and he's going to be happy to see that we have methi here right so yes this is methi and yeah i know it is not that super much fresh but it was brought in today so i also went ahead and bought all the indian vegetables as you guys are going to see and then i'll be heading out to buy some other stuff out So once I got done with buying all the vegetables, I usually come to this guy to buy sliced or already, uh, you know, cleaned vegetables for the boys because at times they take the whole and they can't eat it. So it ends up, you know, going bad or something like that. And I don't like keeping fruits in the fridge, right? So I usually buy from this guy. He knows whatever it takes. I just come and at times I find when he's already packed it. And because I've not been coming to the market for a long time, so today he, he didn't expect me to come actually. And now he's going to be packing for us whatever we're going to be needing. I'm going to take one watermelon sliced one and one sliced uh, uh, what pineapple one sliced papaya and because I love the ripe papaya right so that is why and that is it I usually take that and sometimes they eat it sometimes I make juice out of it it depends so yeah It's delicious. Oh, he's saying it's delicious. It's delicious. You wanna watch? Uh, oh. My friend just got us some Indian sweets. This is called uh, laddu. It's actually made out of coconut. So she just came right now, delivered this, and went back for a few minutes. She came, by the way. So these are super super tasty she knows i love them and the boys of course so, yeah. somebody's awake see what auntie brought for you so no auntie and rachika did they came here and they brought for you that you're still sleepy you don't want to see what they brought for you huh they left they are not here abby they left are you looking for them they left When aunt, you'll call auntie later and you tell her thank you, okay? When she called, the first thing she asks is, Does Abinash love Ladu? She made just for you. It's tasty. 
so it's now in the evening and we are going out to go and do you know the other shopping like the uh house shopping not vegetable shopping obviously we're going to the supermarket of course with the boys and so let's go together and we are going back to the indian supermarket of course you guys have been going with us for a long time and yeah so let us go and buy stuff for our home together So here my husband is asking me to make dokla one day he's like you should try and make dokla for me i know you can do it and i'm like really so i'll just look up for a recipe a very simple one i want to make it for him one day and we we'll see how it comes out with you guys body body So my husband has gone to bring pani puri for us and when i saw these guys eating pani puri so there is this one that is outside already and people just come and eat the way they eat in india like you just go and keep picking keep picking as you can see there one guy is eating that's what they're doing and when i'm seeing them eating seriously i'm salvating in the car literally because you know i'm just waiting for mine so my husband has brought mine i usually love mine with dahi on it that is dahi puri and i it is so tasty the way it comes like this um these people don't know how to make it if it is plain water if it is just you know the puri pani puri and i just love theirs with the heat i don't love what they make with only the puri and the pani it doesn't taste good we even me and my husband even make a better a better one than them so my husband went to eat that and while we were the car eating ours and now we are waiting abinash asked for more and my husband went to order one to make an order of one more plate right so we will make pani puri one day at home and we'll be sharing it with you guys because my husband makes the best pani for the puri if 
just all that you know so while we're waiting here he's like you know just go home and you know just joking so we arrived home and take this one other no. Should I hold the eggs? Mm. That is too heavy, Abby. Are you gonna? Can you carry them? Mm. Are you going to manage? These are eggs. These are eggs, bro. Will you take it up to up? You're a strong boy. You're a strong boy. <laughs> Than anyone, and you can't find me. Tell her, Papa. And you can't find me. 